actually linked to Overwatch me. Overwatch 2 has come to Stop. Face. Wait. Elizabeth, give me a second. I'm trying to enter your video, okay? This was actually linked to me on Reaction Randy over on Discord. Uh, let me see if I can find it here real quick. Here we go. It was by... I think it was Clorsey's. Yeah, I think it was Clorsey's. Uh, and the title of the video is How Did They Let This Happen? I have an idea of what this story is about. So let me just give, a, give out a warning that this is going to be some pretty fucking sick shit that we're going to be talking about in this video. So if you are sensitive, you have been warned. This, this, this video is not for the faint of heart. Overwatch 2 has come under fire, not just for the bugs, but for the publicly accessible custom games with themes such as Sexual Harassment Simulator. It is disturbing and has people asking whether or not Blizzard has done enough to protect- Sexual Harassment Simulator. All of its player base. Hey everyone, just a heads up that this story contains depictions of sexual assault and forced birth. Keep yourself safe and take care of yourselves. Forced birth? What kind of sick fantasies are these? What? It's too loud. Uh, let me lower it. <clears throat> I've spoken on this channel a bit about the rocky start Overwatch 2 has experienced since its release. I'm still trying to actively learn about this game. I still don't know the names of certain heroes. I mix heroes up. I don't know what their abilities do. I fall off the map. I am still learning. When stuff like this happens, I literally cannot experience a game at its fullest potential. I lose out on teaching moments. Like I said in that video, games have bugs, stuff happens. But when your game is presented to the world, I have what I believe to be pretty reasonable expectations that you have the measures put in place to keep your community safe. But that is not what I saw on Twitter last Sunday. Lynn Magoo had shared a warning on Twitter saying, do not let your children play Overwatch. My 12 year old son found custom games within it, one called Sexual Harassment and one game that simulated female characters characters being raped. Thankfully, my son realized it was bad, closed the game, and told me. Don't play hashtag Overwatch. Ooh. Uh, holy shit. Lynn is also the partner of famous Twitch streamer. Here's some screen grabs I found on Twitter of this Overwatch 2 sexual harassment simulator. Apparently, it's been going on since the first game. It would be easy for Blizz to prevent it, but they're not. This is a game marketed to 12-year-olds. This is version 1.2 of the new and unique sexual harassment simulator. Find new friends, live a normal life, and give birth to a child. Don't forget to subscribe to the creator of this game mode, Amatsuhiko. What the fuck? <clears throat> to the Overwatch sexual harassment simulator. <laughs> It's literally in the popular tab. And look at how many lobbies it has. Oh my God. Dude. Oh my God. Lemmy, who added to this with, here's some screen grabs I found on Twitter of this Overwatch 2 sexual harassment simulator. Apparently it's been going on since the first game. It would be easy for Blizzard to prevent it, but they're not. This is a game marketed to 12 year olds. The screenshots Lemmy provided included sexual harassment simulator trending and another screenshot of many different rooms called sexual harassment simulator. And they're full! These rooms are fucking full! What the fuck? The trending room had the description of, this is version 1.2 of the new and unique sexual harassment simulator. Find new friends, live a normal life, and give birth to a child. A quick search of the YouTube channel brought me to two videos of what appear to be the custom game mode in action. In this oh, first no. clip, a player is seen choosing to play the sexual harassment simulator custom mode, where there then is text saying months of pregnancy in the top right corner. Eventually, it seems as if the player, who is playing a character that is a woman, is stunned, then teabagged, losing health until their death. 
death. They respawn with the mission changing the top right corner to go home and then wait until your baby is here. According to PCGamer.com, when you enter it, it forces one player to play as Cassidy. Forces one player to play as Cassidy against the team of strictly female Overwatch heroes. In the top left of the screen, instructs you to flash to knock down your victims, which refers to Cassidy's. How do people? How do people even make this? So there's like, there's like tools in game that allow you to create this custom game mode. I mean, in a way, it's kind of cool that there's tools in game that allow you to create custom game modes. In another way, this is some pretty fucking sick shit. Especially if it's been going on since Overwatch 1. I was not aware that this also happened in Overwatch 1. Then says, teabag to... I, I think we can all imagine what that means. Seems we've got around a word filter as your crouch text appears on top of the screen that's... Enemy heroes are then marked as pregnant, and eventually a Torbjorn bot is spawned to simulate a child. against a team of strictly female Overwatch heroes. The top left of the screen instructs you to flash to knock down your victims, which refers to Cassidy's old Overwatch 1 flashbang ability, and then says to teabag to f which is written with spaces seemingly to get around a word filter. As you crouch, text appears on the top of the screen that says raping. Enemy heroes are then marked as pregnant and eventually a Torbjorn bot is spawned to simulate a child. In its simplest form, it is a game mode that simulates rape and forced birth. To make matters worse, the first video I showed you was uploaded in May, 2022, while the second video was uploaded in January, 2022. This has been an available game mode for months. That was just one room I was able to find on Twitter, but there are other custom game modes with questionable titles. My coworker and I were not able to find sexual harassment simulator, but we did find other rooms labeled as 18 plus or with the phrase naked overwatch two girls, naked anime girls, and a lot for Tinder watch. According to that same report from pcgamer.com, Blizzard responded to a question about the sexual harassment simulator game mode saying, inappropriate or explicit content has absolutely no place in our game. We immediately removed the user created game mode once made aware of its existence. We are continually working to improve automatic filters to prevent inappropriate user created content and manually removing any that are not caught by the system. However, that same report confirmed that the unique five digit code that allows you to play the mode is still available. Anyone with the code could presumably turn it into a public game and relist it. It's possible to report custom game titles and descriptions through a button on the browser page, but for instances like this, where the mode itself violates the rules, there's no easy way to communicate that to Blizzard. According to that PC Gamer report, these custom games with labels like 18 plus are places to chill out and voice chat in. I do have a problem with Blizzard having all these rooms so easy to find and accessible for the entire population of gamers some of which it's like if you want to jump into a lobby of overwatch 2 and have an 18 plus conversation so long as it's clearly marked as an eight problem is yeah there are kids playing the game but at some point it's like look it's it's also the job of the parents to take care of some of that and it's like if it is marked as 18 plus and people want to go in there and engage in whatever the fuck it is that they want to engage, listen, people do the same thing in Final Fantasy 14. I'm not talking about sexual harassment simulator. I'm talking about having adult conversations in role play settings. They do the exact same thing. And uh, Square Enix's take on that is basically like, hey, so long as you're adults, you do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, we just don't want to see no fucking naked Lalafell mods. I think that's pretty much where they drew the line. But it's like, look, y'all are adults. Do whatever the fuck you want. And in a way, I'm inclined to agree with that. <clears throat> it's like, look, if you want to create like a private lobby, you meet up with somebody else and you have like, you talk, you have conversations of a sexual nature uh, with two consenting adults. It's whatever. Doesn't bother me. But the sexual harassment simulator, 
that's fucked up. like i i cannot i can't that that's just a little bit too fucked up that's just a little bit too fucked up include children the fact that i was able to find these custom games is terrifying there are so many young kids who play these games and would have access to these environments kids play games kids are encouraged to play games somewhat and maybe a hot take coming in here i think it is great that kids can explore rich universes and dynamic stories these yes. game modes are absolutely not a part of that they are inappropriate and unsafe overwatch 2 has 25 million players all who can mosey on over to custom games and and search for this or not even search for it have it pop up as trending should blizzard stop all custom games from happening no absolutely not that would be ridiculous however they should moderate and filter their own products well enough so that things like this don't happen creating and playing a game mode that simulates sexual assault and forced birth isn't just a game it is f up and yeah. blizzard need to do better it is pretty fucked up What's the age for Overwatch? Well, let me see. Overwatch to Peggy rating. Peggy 12. It's Peggy 12. It is a game that is marketed to 12 year olds. I mean, the parents got to keep a close eye on their kids if they're playing Overwatch too. But like, I, I, I do think that the sexual harassment simulator is, is like that. That is some fucked up shit that is like straight up completely messed up. Should not be a thing in my personal opinion. I mean, I don't want to kink shame people do whatever the fuck you want to do. I think that the lobbies where they're having sexual conversations, it's, it's like whatever. Like I said, this happens in plenty of video games two consenting adults having a conversation about sex or even like having like cyber sex or whatever the fuck it is that they want to get up to. I got no problems with that. It's just, you know, the problem is the, that again, it is a Peggy 12 game and that is a problem, but it's like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you about that, but sexual harassment similar. That is, that's just fucked up. Like I got, I can't get behind that one. Not, uh, maybe I'm kink shaming, but I'm not going to get behind that one. Sorry. <laughs> you can have those lobbies without them being publicly listed. But what if you have people that want to look for those lobbies in a public way? You no, know, it's like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like maybe have an additional step to verify that the person is 18 plus. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Crazy that they can't just ban it. Oh, they can. They definitely can. Rory King, King Shamer. No, no, I don't. Maybe don't take that shit into a game for 12 year olds. True. True. Anyway, I'm going to link you guys the video. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to leave it a like. Uh, do remember, give it some watch time to make sure that, uh, you know, don't just go in there, like, and leave. That's actually bad for the algorithm. Give it some watch time. Yeah, those are my thoughts on that.